Hey, welcome back to our site build series. This video, we're going to pick a niche for our site. Again, we're going to be building an info site supported hopefully by ad revenue and also affiliate products. The other types of sites you could build if you were to make classifications of them would be an e-com site, a site selling physical or digital products on them, or a local SEO site for a local company or a rank and rent. Those last two, the local SEO and then also the e-com seem to be a little bit more favored in, in Google's eyes than just a pure info site that's linking out to affiliate offers. But realize whatever you choose, whether it's the e-com site or whether it's a local SEO site or this national info site, you need to drive traffic to that site. You need to, and then you got to convert the traffic too. So you need to drive traffic. You got to do something with that traffic. And it's harder today after Google's helpful content update, just to pump out an info site, a pure info site, and then get traffic and build that traffic over time because everybody's doing it. For every local dentist site in Toledo, Ohio, there is a thousand or 10,000 national SEO sites on home decor or something like that. So there's a lot more competition in the national space than on the local space. And it's also a lot easier to do just an info site than actually getting your own physical or digital products, having a checkout system like WooCommerce on your site and setting all of that up. So realize that what we're going into is a lot more competitive and whether I make any money from this or not, that's not the goal of this course. The goal of this course is to show you how to go from nothing to a completed site and then take that and, and, and do with that what you want. In my opinion today, if you're just making info sites that are supported by ad revenue or affiliate products, you need to be creating a lot of these sites. So I'm, I'm hopefully giving you a blueprint to, to go through and create five of these sites, 10 of these sites, a hundred of these sites very quickly, very easily. Some of them will be duds. Some of them will, will not get any traffic, but some of them might be grand slam home runs. We're, we're in a, a, an era that's different right now because content has become a commodity we can just pump out content left and right. You're using Zimwriter. You can generate thousands of articles with the click of a button. So content is more of a commodity right now. And I think you have to stand out from the crowd, whether that's creating a lot of sites or figuring out something else that the competition is not doing. So we'll talk all about that in this series. The goal of this video is to pick that niche, follow along. I hope that you can also find a niche for kind of what you're doing. Okay. So let's dive in now. When I pick a niche, I want to think about how I'm going to drive traffic to that niche. I don't want to rely solely on Google traffic if all I'm doing is making an info site. So I want to pick a niche that lends itself to other traffic mediums than just Google. So one really cool way to find another traffic source is through Pinterest trends. So you can make a Pinterest account and then log in and go to trends.pinterest.com. And they'll actually, this is completely free. They'll show you the trends on Pinterest right now. So we can look at growing trends. We won't do any other filtering right now and we'll sort by monthly change. So September nails, that's really big right now. Fall nails. I don't know why, but nails are really big right now on, on Pinterest. Housewarming gift ideas, school lunch ideas, weird videos. Well, that's okay. Fall hair colors, fall outfits, women, fall hair, gravity falls. Let's see, senior jeans. So these are all ways that we can find a niche because what we could do is AI images now using the flux models and also the ideagram models are very high quality. Now there, there still might be goof ups with hands or with a face every now and then, but other than that, these images will pass off as real images and you put these on your site, right? You can get that trap and then you pin it, obviously have a pin generator or something and you get that traffic from Pinterest to your site. And then maybe you have some affiliate deals on your site. You can easily get those conversions. All right. So this is a, a different and unique new way to, to look at generating traffic. That's not through Google. Now you still would like to have some Google traffic or some Bing traffic or Yahoo traffic, but these are ideas that should be swirling around in your head as you're trying to figure out what niche to go with. Cause once you commit, you're married to this niche until you delete the site. So you're going to be putting a lot of time and investment into this but hopefully it will get quicker. So hopefully you can spin up these niches maybe once a week or a couple sites a month or something. And you're not as tied to one particular niche if it ends up being a dud. So we can go over here and uh, filter by interest. And just as an example, like you click on sports, for instance, and we have like senior sign posters. 
volleyball poses for pictures individual. So a lot of these I don't think would be great niches to go into because then you're going to rely potentially on the AI either creating a, a human figure and it could be could have messed up hands or a messed up face. And that's getting less frequent now but you'll still have to check this stuff over. And if you have a mess up, then you'll have to manually go in and fix that, which is a time suck. And you might not want to go down that route. Also like volleyball media day poses, you might have the AI because it was trained on human and, and actual photos and images. It might replicate like a logo or something from a school. I'm in Ohio, so it might replicate like the Ohio state logo and that could get you into trouble too. So you, you maybe don't want to do that. Senior sign posters, anything with text, the AI is getting a lot better. If you use uh, Flux Pro or you use Ideagram, AI is a lot better with text, but it's not always perfect. More stuff you're going to have to correct. So think about that if you're like, oh, I'm going to make a, a, a site all about locker room decorations that could have problems. Uh, quotes is another example. A lot of people on Pinterest love quotes, but again, you're going to have to filter those those images to make sure that number one, they're catchy, which the AI can do. They're very aesthetically pleasing, but also the text is not screwed, not screwed up like senior Instagram captions, like this stuff right here, the, the AI will not be able to do. Can't believe people are pinning this anyways. It's just a list of stuff. It always surprises me. Summer dump captions. I don't know what that means. Let's see parenting. So parenting is always cool. Cause there's like baby stuff we can go into. One thing I, I came across was this gender reveal concept. That's really big on Pinterest. Let's see, gender reveal. And I think this would be actually a great niche to go into. There's lots of different gender ideas, reveal ideas, and there's companies that will sell these products. And not only Amazon, there'll be like these private companies that will sell them. If you're ever thinking about drop shipping, this might be something really cool to get into. It would probably be very low cost to get into. You can set up your own e-com site and then drive some traffic to it. But yeah, this would be a great niche to get into. The AI could come up with some really cool photos for different reveal party ideas. I'm going to kind of, I'm sw switching around the different tools right now. My brain works like this as I, as I look for a particular niche and as I build this site. So I, I don't in the background have some kind of flow chart and process by which I do every little last step. So you have to just go with my flow and, uh, and see how my mind works. And you might do things a little bit differently. That's perfectly fine. This is not, and this is not necessarily like an SEO course. This is a course on how to go from nothing to a finished site. So yes, we'll do a little bit of SEO in here, but that's not the focus of this course. The focus of this course is to go from nothing to an idea to that finished site, show you how to do it. So you can start spinning up these sites very quickly if you want to. So let's put in gender reveal and see what we get from a, a keyword standpoint, matching terms. And you don't have to use Ahrefs. You could use Ubersuggest. You could use SEMrush. Ahrefs is like the gold standard, but it's also very expensive. But you should probably use something not necessarily to look at difficulty because that can be incorrect now after the helpful content update. But look at this just to get ideas for what people are actually searching. So if we go in here and let's find something easier right here, like gender reveal dress, zero difficulty. Wow, that, that's pretty easy to rank for. But when you actually click on the, the link and you look, you look at who's ranking, it's, these are a lot of e-com sites, right? Etsy, e-com, Sheen, e-com, Amazon, e-com, probably all e-com stuff. So if you start writing like an info article for this, even though it says easy, you're not going to rank for it. One way you can filter this stuff out is you can go in here and say, I want to see stuff that amazon.com, for instance, is not rank in the top 10 for and that will filter down the 31,000 keywords to like a couple thousand, I think yeah, 2,200. So gender reveal ideas. Now that would be a great info article. I've looked at this before, you know, you might be thinking, why is there a gender reveal plane crash? Actually, there was a, I, I Googled this. There was like this video of this gender reveal and a plane's flying overhead and drops some like confetti or something, but then the wing breaks and the whole plane crashes. It was uh, crazy, really sad. Simple gender reveal ideas, cute gender reveal ideas. So a lot of different info articles we could write about this. You can also click on questions and we have 260 questions. And again, we're approaching this not from just a, am I going to rank on Google perspective, but also from the perspective of what can I write? What posts can I write? that can have 10 or 15 or 20 images in them that I can set up a pin generator to and start pinning those things on Pinterest a couple times a day 
and drive traffic that way to your Amazon affiliate offers and things like that. Okay. So this would be a good niche. I think this would be a really cool niche to pursue, but I did some research beforehand and I think I found something a little bit better, but I want to preface all this with saying, don't feel boxed in. There are millions of niches, uh, whether you get the niche idea from Pinterest or from somewhere else, there's so many different niche ideas and you can go broad or you can go narrow, All right, You could do uh, gender reveal parties for twins or for sex tuplets or something like that. Yes, there's less traffic, right? But how much of, a, of an investment did you have to put into the site? You can spin these sites up very quickly using AI and it, you might be able to put 15 or $20 into a site for gender reveal ideas for sex tuplets or something like that. So don't feel boxed in by, you have to pick something in that gender reveal niche. There's all kinds of ways to figure out cool ideas for a niche, like lunch ideas for school. You could do a lunch idea site for school lunches or some healthy eating for kids or something like that. Very, uh, easy to come up with these different niche ideas. I think a lot of people on Pinterest click on, um, home decor. I want to show you something. So I'm filtering by design and home decor. Again, just one idea of the million ideas out there. So a monthly change. We have modern fall decor. So it's, I don't know when you're watching the video, but right now it's, we're going into September. It's the end of August right now. People are searching for fall. People are searching for Halloween. They want to decorate their house. So look at this modern fall decor. It's gone up 1500% right now. It's like spiking in demand. Fall mantra decor, fall decor dollar tree. So cheap fall decor, fall bedding, fall decor ideas for home, fall wreaths for front door, boho Halloween decor. Look at all this stuff. DIY cauldron, fall apartment decor. Fantastic. And that's just fall. So imagine it, this is seasonal. So there's summer decor, there's Christmas decor, there's Halloween decor, there's spring decor, all that stuff. So we can go over here to, to Ahrefs, validate this idea and we can put a decor ideas. Cause each one of these could be a Pinterest or post for Pinterest, bathroom decor ideas, bedroom decor ideas, living room decor ideas. Who cares about the difficulty? It doesn't matter because we're going to put this on Pinterest kitchen decor ideas. But look at the traffic here. This is, and this could be off by a magnitude. Okay. But 22,000 bathroom decor ideas, front door decor ideas, desk. If all these people are searching for these decor ideas, is it really their idea then? Do you really want to live in somebody else's idea of what, what looks good in your bathroom? I don't know. Fireplace mantle decor ideas, dining room table decor ideas, TV stand, like all this stuff. This is great. This niche would be freaking fantastic. Now I'm going to do something stupid and I'm going to pick, I'm going to go very broad. We're just going to do decor. I'm not going to niche down to, to fall or to winter. Now we can create those categories on our site that we're going to build, but the site itself is not going to be tied to one specific season or one specific holiday, but you could easily do that. You could easily find some cool domains that, that dial it down to that particular niche. But I think we're going to go with that. Let's do a quick search fall decor ideas. Look at all these people making pins on this stuff. One kind design, almost a million followers. Whew. Montana happy 77,000 followers, 25,000 followers. Got some people in my group that are hitting Pinterest hard with a lot of they're spinning up these sites and, and putting out content and they're getting like a couple thousand clicks a month. I just did a Pinterest or a site that lended itself towards Pinterest. And a lot of the images I did actually have graphics on them and text. So I had to go in and correct a lot of them, but there's ways to do this where we don't even use the text on the graphics and people, uh, people really like it. Also, I've noticed something I have not investigated this, but you can through Pinterest, you can click shop this look and Pinterest will use like AI to determine like matches. I think if you make a business account and you have enough traffic or something, you might be able to make commission off of sale of these things. So that's another thing to look into. I, I have not looked into it, but all of this tagging is not done by the, the author. This is all done by Pinterest. So that might be something to look into also. A lot of different avenues to drive traffic and earn revenue other than just through Google. Let's go with that. That is the, the niche we're going to pick out. If you think that I missed something or you have some additional tips or advice, Hey, we're all a community. We're all working together. There's a million people out there that are smarter than me. So share your knowledge down below, drop a comment, help each other out. Let's make this, this a cool repository for picking a niche 
the tips on picking a niche for, for the site that you're going to build. Drop a comment down below. Any other questions or thoughts, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Next video, we're going to dive into finding our keywords, clustering, and all that good stuff. Hope to see you there.